At last, both Rain and Ariane could no longer hold back their feelings for each other. Where is Monica now in Ariane's inner thoughts now that she is falling in love with Rain? As their eyes met silently, staring at each other, Rain leaned in, his thumb brushing across her jaw, lifting her chin and causing her lips to tremble. She swallowed softly, feeling sweaty from the nape of her neck, slide down her back. Rain pressed his lips to hers. She couldn't move and instead close her eyes, feeling thrilled. Rain paused and gently stared at Ariane then, caressed her face. I like you Ariane. I like you a lot, he whispered. Ariane was taken aback. Her cheeks turned red, and she felt numb, speechless. Then Rainy asked, Does blushing mean you like me, too? Ariane remained quiet, for she felt no words could express her feelings. Rainy stared at her and said, Love me, Ariane. You will not regret having me in your life. I will protect you and will always be here for you. Ariane said, I have never been kissed nor have I been in love before, I feel distraught and unsure. Should I be afraid of loving you? What about Monica? How would she feel if she learned that you fell in love with me? I don't know how to handle heartbreaks, Rain. Rainy held Ariane's hands to assure her, give me a chance to love you. Ariane, when we first met, I was fierce and unfriendly. But as the days passed, I knew I was falling for you. I couldn't hide my feelings, no matter how much I tried to deny it. I am falling for you every day. Ariane. There was a moment of silence between them, then Rainy whispered. May I kiss you again, please be my girl. Both became ecstatic, feeling their emotions rising, so they kissed again and again and again. After their blissful moments, Rainy felt a feeling of warmth and joy. He never felt this good about himself that he hugged Ariane so lovingly, then said, Can we have our first date today, my darling? Ariane looked at Rain and for the first time, she saw in him tenderness and she never felt like this before, adored and loved. Rain held her hand and kissed it with all gentleness and pride. Both walked together and Rain Martin held her closer to his as they were about to leave. Ariane paused a second and spoke, We couldn't leave this close to each other. What will they say if the people around the office see us this affectionate to each other? Rainy Martin reacted, What do you mean see us like this? Is being in love a sore thing to those who see us like this? You're my girlfriend, Ariane. Aren't you proud to have me as your boyfriend? Ariane sat and said, No, you get me wrong. Of course, any girl would be so proud to have someone like you as a boyfriend. What I mean is that, I'm just an ordinary person, your employee, who's now a girlfriend of the CEO. They will talk. Don't worry about it. They will just be envious of you. No one can ever hurt you, my darling. I'll never let anyone destroy your reputation. Trust me. I will always protect you. No one can ever stand between us. Not even your brother? You knew how much he disliked me, Rain. Not my brother. Not any in my family. You can count on it. Come on. This is our first lunch date as lovers. Let us enjoy each other's company. Trust me, my darling. Rain brought Ariane to a restaurant where they can be alone together to enjoy their togetherness. And then later on they strolled around wanting to feel each other's presence and the joy of being together in their own space. Feeling the warmth of their closeness and the happiness they felt in each other's arms, Rain couldn't help feeling the joy and love emanating within him. And for the first time of many years of being alone and loveless, he felt alive and inspired. For him, Ariane is the best thing that ever happened to him. Now that Rain opened his world once again for Ariane, leaving behind the painful memories of yesteryears, will Ariane be the one who will make him heal and become more of a person worthy of love and affection which Ariane dreamed of being loved and cared for? Part 38 follows.